Oh, I forgot to go drink, uh, bomb puddle water. So, excuse me. Might as well go do that. So, side note, I didn't used to know that I could hold the A button and drink. So, I would literally be tapping the A button over and over and over, taking a sip at a time until my rads were high enough. Because I didn't know that holding the button changed how fast it was. It took fucking forever. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. All right. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let it serve as hey. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She's different. No kidding. Also, I feel like the developers knew that people, like, a lot of people hate Moira. Like, a lot of people hate Moira. I feel like they knew, and that's why she survived. Oh, feeling well, survives a bit under the if weather, you blow up Megaton. Or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, I feel fine! <coughs> Never better! <coughs> no problem at all! <gasps> oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry. It'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Sure. Exciting. Okay. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um... Mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Thanks. Uh, rad regeneration perk added. Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Cool. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Let's hear more about the landmines. Fuck it. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? That seems kind of unhealthy. How are you going to make it worth my while? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? And I'll head into minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Alrighty. Uh, gotta go. Try not to die. Thanks. I know that my explosive skill is below what it needs to be. Well, let's see. 25. Alright. Uh. 
What am I even at? Fifteen. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything that helps with explosive? No. Alright. Um... Just gonna read those. Damn. Okay. Well, I'll have to... For a second, I thought there was more rarity. Um, I'll have to... Hey there. Get up a level to get that, but oh well, that's fine. I'm gonna turn this into Walter. I think his name's Walter. Walter, your name's probably not Walter. Walter, your name what is you Walter. Mean? Yeah, what is it? Uh, pipes are fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts I find. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Will do. Okay. All right. Uh, explosives. I'm gonna do that. That in there. And... Five and lockpick. Why not? All right. Little lever. I think I'm gonna do intense training. Yeah. I'm gonna add it to... Action points. Yeah. Walter, get out of my way, I swear to God. Oh, wait, I have things to sell you. Come here. Yeah? What is it? Interested in buying some scrap metal? I sure am, Missy. What have you got for me? Uh, take all the scrap metal I have. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Thank you. Bye. Well, back to work. So yeah, you can get a lot out of him, uh, just from scrap metal, which is worth it. At least I think so. So you know, that and the uh, sugar bombs. I like to gather up the sugar bombs and uh, you know, take it to that one place in. Oh, I forget exactly where, but. Once I run into it, there's a ghoul. I know a guy, okay? <laughs> Doesn't sound shady at all. It's fine. Oh, hi! Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Who takes care of you? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents, but Billy showed up before they got me, and now he's like my daddy. Sort of. I, I just, I love, I love these characters so much. Uh, what do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Gotta go. Bye, lady. 
Reinhardt. Hi there, miss. Can I help you with something? Nope. Oh, wanted to go in here. A Moriarty. Maybe in a minute, Burke. Okay, okay. Uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Yes, Wait, that's locked. Is that... And yes, I can see Damn you it. eyeing it. Work. Come on, work. <laughs> I love Gob. Son of a bitch. Work. Don't look at me like that. No, no, work. Just Stupid give it up, Gob. We're not going to get <laughs> Okay, I got it. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? I hadn't planned on it. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna do that. God, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. Sorry, smooth Damn. skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. I get it. I won't make you. you. Want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Moriarty's a piece of shit. Hey. You know what? Matter. Never seen a ghoul before. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby girl, all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Uh-huh. My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. My dad told me we were born in Ball 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Let's try it. Good hey! Well, our time together was brief, but that is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. But maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. You know, now I'm kind of bummed. 
Do I have an auto? I think that might actually be an auto. I'm actually going to load because there's a quest that I kind of want to do because I can get more caps out of it. Do I really need it, though? Mmm. Mmm. No. I don't. You just bas you basically go kill somebody for him. Uh It's all this about Galaxy News Radio. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Alright, gotta go. I await our next meeting with bated breath. I want to shoot your face. Yeah. Uh, what's the story with that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Where'd he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that... He won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. The gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? That's sad. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Uh, gotta go. Take care of yourself, hon. Thanks, Nova. Alright, so... Spoiler alert! I like ghouls. I love ghouls. Um... I... Really hate Moriarty because of the shit he does to Gob, and what he's done to Gob, and Nova, and a bunch of other people. Um... And yeah. So... If you don't like ghouls and... You know, all that shit? Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have fun. You know? That's got a problem. Uh, my, hi. My. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you? Well... You are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Oh, yes. Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke, is it? Please, continue. I find myself... enthralled. Finally. Someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this... Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Go on. I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? I have a proposition of my own. Would you like to hear it, Mr. Burke? Color me intrigued. Go on. You see, I live here, lover, and surely you wouldn't want to hurt me. Well, I... I mean, I... Of course not. I must admit, I've... Never met a woman quite like you before. This changes everything. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell Tenpenny. I'll think of something. 
You wait here, my dear. I have some important business to attend to, but you won't be waiting long. I shall send for you soon. All right. Wait for my summons. I will send for you after I finish some business in the wasteland. Bye, Burke. Hi, Lucy. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Uh, maybe. Who wants to know? I do. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Alright. Gotta go. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Alright. Excuse me. Boop. Information what I've got. Big idea? Oh, it'll cost you. Well, you were in my way. I really just want to shoot him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to shoot him. Uh, anyway. Billy Creel's house. Okay. I'm gonna go disarm that bomb. Oh, hi, Jericho! Ah, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. You ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out there in the waste, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing, stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom. You know? But come on. Now I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Oh, you're right. Finding a crew might be tough. Good luck, though. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. Look, I don't have the bad karma required to take you with me. Sorry, gotta go. Come back if you need something. I... All right. Oh, you're just a settler. Boop. Boop. Let those who dwell here in the land attend now you? to the words of the okay. prophet of Adam. Sam's. There you are. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Mother. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Alrighty. Gotta go. You stay safe. All right, now we have a place to store our things. Good. Hi. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like something to drink. Certainly, madam. Here you are. Cer Cer I'm sorry, madam. My condensation collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. That's fine. Gotta go. Well, tell me a joke real quick. 
Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? That's pretty good. If there's anything you require further, feel free to ask, madam. That reminds me. So, today at work, I work in retail. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm not going to say where or what kind of retail. Because people get creepy on here. Anyway. Um, so, I was uh, walking a customer to something in the store. And I look at her shirt. And this is like a teenage customer with her mom. I was like, I was so excited. Because I was like, is that a Killer Clowns from Outer Space t-shirt? And the, the it, I mean it was. But she was like, I think so? And I'm like... I just deflate. I'm like, well, if you ever get the chance to watch that movie, it's really good if you like horror movies. I was sad, but it was such a cool shirt. I kind of want one, but at the same time, I have so many t-shirts. It's kind of a problem. All right, I'm going to put apparel in here. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to put basically almost everything away in here. And this is how I normally do this. I usually put like important ish shit here in here. What's in you? Oh hell yeah, give me that. And my singular bobblehead. We'll get more. We'll, we'll get more. It'll be good. Hey. All right. What is my load up to? Alright, 21 out of 240. That's pretty good. I'm also naked. I just thought about that. Mm. Hello, neighbors. Sure, it's fine. Let's see. So, I'm actually going to end this here, but next time I'm probably going to go with Wasteland Survival Guide just so I can get dog meat, because I want to have dog meat. Anyhow, this has been Karazina Cheetah with Fallout 3. I hope that you guys are enjoying it and that you'll stick around for more. Bye, guys!